guess after that dinner, I owe you one for the road. At least. Ah, they haven't turned down the damn bed. Ah, should I do it for you? I think the maid can handle that. No. I just don't like missing out on my chocolate. Sorry. Vinnie Bar's over there. Help yourself. Yep. Yeah, you have a message for room 202? Thank you. Oh, and could you set up some ice, please? Your partner, Peter, called. Oh. He was going to see his aunt, or so he said. I'm going to freshen up. Mine's a vodka. Right. for you. <laughs> you bastard fry, I told you. Hands off this woman. What are you doing here? What am I doing? You first, I think, Admiral. You're the one behind the arras. I didn't entirely trust her, so I, I came to check out her room. That's precisely what I'm doing. We really must learn to communicate better. Let's have lunch. Lucas, uh, not too much tonic, okay? <laughs> I was just thinking... Parker! You... <laughs> what? Ah, nothing. So sorry. I was just uh, thinking, you and you and Peter are a curious pair. Uh, do you have a, uh, an opener for these? <laughs> I would have thought with your background you could open anything. Uh, I'm all right with safes and legs. Sometimes these are quite cheap. <laughs> Uh, that'll be the ice. Vodka? Please. Was it? Yes. Uh, just, just say when. How about that? That's fine. A little more perhaps. What do you think? I mean, really? How far do you and Peter go back? Oh, forever. I was his fag at school. You guys had a gay thing together? <laughs> That's the worst thing anyone's ever said to me in my whole life. No. An English public school. When you're a new bug, you have to do things for the older boys. So I had to light his fires, make his tea, clean his shoes. Peter, you see, is a good deal older than I. Ah, so you're a slave. Precisely. A slave with a toasting fork and slipper marks on his bum. <laughs> I'd try the window if I were you. <laughs> Hurry along now. I saw us coming in and thought I might need two more chocolates. Oh, how very nice. Oh, oh, fine. So, do you guys make a habit of doing things behind each other's backs? What? He wouldn't have called me if he knew I was seeing you, would he? I'm afraid doing things behind each other's backs is, is a hard habit to break in this business. But there is another reason. Duckham. <laughs> went so far as to say you were attractive and as he's the master of understatement I was consumed with sexual curiosity <laughs> and how would you describe me? ravishing thank you but then I tend to exaggerate <laughs> thank you not however on this occasion is that window open? I'll have a look shall I? Ah, yes, it is. <laughs> so, where were we?
Suzuki. And I got you a wicked chocolate croissant. Mmm. Where did that come from? Oh, uh, I borrowed it. Well, I, I think we ought to have one for the office. Gosh, does that mean I'd have to learn how to use it? <laughs> oh, no, I'd hate to increase your workload. <laughs> That's all right, then. Ah, the spy who came in from the cold. I need <laughs> coffee now. Oh, shit. You'd better have his. I'll be uh, sort of next door. OK. What happened to you, Crackers? I was arrested by hotel security for being in a woman's room. I spent the night in a police cell with a psychotic Glaswegian and a tattooed fascist. Here, you can have my croissant. They wouldn't let me out until I made a statement. Eventually, I confessed to being an international jewel thief. It seemed preferable to attempted rape. Why didn't you call Roland White? What? Your old boss, Rollo. Surely you keep in touch still? Well, I, I haven't seen him since I, since I left the service. Really? Well, I would if I were you, and then he can pull some strings if you're going to get into trouble with the police. I used my one call to phone you at the club. Naturally, you weren't there. I expect you were cocooned with Miss Morrow. Keep your voice down. There's no need for Tamsin to hear this. Actually, I left just after you did, as soon as I got my hands on something interesting. Spare me the details. <laughs> What's that? A floppy disk. <laughs> I took it from her briefcase. I couldn't open the bloody thing. Oh, there's a trick. Remind me, I'll show you sometime. Oh. Well, what does it tell us? That she's not with a corporation. That was cover. Well, what is she? She's one of us. A fellow spook. Excuse me, sir, but there's, um, there's a lady in the club, sir. Yes, we are expecting one, Monty. It's just that it's, it's not ladies' night till June, sir. <laughs> I expect we'll be asked to tender our resignation. No, it's fun to rattle the members' cages now and again. Ah, Parker, how very nice to see you again. <laughs> I can't believe this. The guy brought me up the back stairs. Well, that'll be the trousers. Women in trousers, back stairs always. <laughs> you see, this is really a, a retirement home for harmless old farts. So, <laughs> it's the perfect place to have a confidential conversation. You son of a bitch, you turned over my room. We both did, actually. What? No, he was there, really. No, he wasn't. No, he, he, he left uh, just after we arrived. He abseiled five floors to the ground. <laughs> was back having tea with his aunt before she noticed he'd left the room. There's a lot of stuff in there about Lucas and me. I told you I was doing my homework on you guys. Oh, but this is far too detailed. You must have access to classified information. This has the CIA's fingerprints all over it. Okay, I used to be with the agency, but I'm not anymore. This is a one-off freelance deal. They want to know about you, Lucas. Why? The rumor is you were a KGB mole. Your people, Peter, couldn't afford another scandal, so you let him fly the coop. <laughs> oh, this is, this is preposterous. I was at school with Fry. I trust him with my life. Not with my wife, but with my life. <laughs> your employers wouldn't like it if they knew we'd blown your cuff up. And we wouldn't want that because we've grown rather fond of you, haven't we, Peter? Yes. You want to cut a deal? Oh, don't you just love it when she talks tough? Oh. <laughs> Send shivers down my spine. Don't tell the agency that you're blown. String them along. Then you can come and work for us occasionally on a freelance basis. I like the sound of this. Screw the agency. We could make some serious money. This, I think, deserves something cold with bubbles in it. I just want to say, Peter, I am only buying this deal because of you. Really? I trust you. I can't say the same for Lucas. I understand. Look, I don't suppose there is a ladies' room in this place? Absolutely not, but we'll ask Munton to stand guard. <laughs> oh, by the way, house rules, if you're on the blue carpet, must keep moving, not allowed to linger. I hope there's no blue carpet in the John. <laughs> Lucas, I just want to say I'm only buying this deal because of you. Really? I trust you. Can't say the same for Peter. Understood. Ah, thank you, Munton. Uh, gents, keep baby. This way, sir. <laughs> 
things could work out rather well, don't you think? This question of your missing years is not going to go away, you know. I know. That is why it is vitally important that we trust each other. No secrets of any kind. Scout's honour, that sort of thing. Well, as I recall, you were thrown out of the scout troop at school for cheating in the first-class hike. <laughs> it was raining, so I took a taxi. <laughs> Doing? You can't go through a lady's handbag. Have you ever known a lady go to the powder room and leave her purse behind? My God, this is a filthy business. Isn't it? You can turn ours off now. All right. <laughs> what, what did she say? Screw the agency, I say. Gosh, if things ever get really dirty, at least we've got that on tape. <laughs> I don't think we have, actually. <laughs> <laughs> 